We need to continue our conversation on the election and election day. So let's bring in our fair and balanced panel because we are just uh, after seeing some brand new poll numbers that we want to talk about. They were released at 6 p.m. last night. Let's bring in Alex Content. She's the former communications director for Florida Senator Marco Rubio's presidential campaign. And Mark Levine, a uh, regular on our show, Democratic member of the Virginia House of Delegates. Al Alex, I apologize. I said she. I meant he there, so I'm going to go to you for my first question. Uh, I want to put up a, a brand new poll that we saw, a Fox News poll. Hillary Clinton has a, a, a two-point lead over Donald Trump. That is within the margin of error. The campaign is full force ahead of Tuesday. What do you think they are most concerned about in these final hours? Well, I think they're probably mo both campaigns at this point are probably ignoring the, the national polls and focusing on the state polls, focusing on the electoral college, where Clinton does have an advantage. She she's currently leading in enough states to put her over the 270. But as the national polls have shown, the race has tightened everywhere over the last couple of days, and it will be closer on on election day. Uh, Ohio, where you are today, is a critical state not just for the presidential contest but for the Senate contest, where I know Rob Portman has a big lead. Florida, where Leland just did his report from. Uh, Marco Rubio, my former boss, has a big lead in Florida currently. But the presidential race is going to be very, very tight, and it's a must win for both campaigns. Okay, Mark, I want to bring you in. I, I think I know your response here. I know that she does have an advantage, but do you think she should also be worried because these poll numbers are rising and there are a good amount of independent voters? In fact, we have another Fox News poll where we look at the independent, those voters who are up for grabs, and we actually see that Donald Trump is just a little bit ahead there. We see that he's polling around 41 percent and Hillary Clinton more around 33 percent. Well, this is certainly no time to be complacent. If you're a Democrat, you definitely need to get out. But I think Hillary has shown that she can appeal across the aisle. You know, people forget that she worked with Republicans very well and was very highly thought of by the Republicans in the Senate. And as Marco Rubio, Alex's former boss, uh, said, and, and actually he still believes, Donald Trump is a bully who's basically been a dangerous con man who's cheated people his, his entire life. So. I know there are people that are hurting out there in America that just want this election to go away. I, I would say to them, look, just because Donald Trump has cheated on his taxes and cheated other people, he hasn't done it for you and he won't do it for you. That is just his way of practice for 70 years. And I would think that at least those independents would recognize someone who can work across the aisle rather than someone who's really dividing this country. Alex, what do you think? Who has more of an advantage with the independent voters, especially when we've had new news come out from the FBI uh, just more than a week ago? People are still digesting this new information. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to imagine a worse way for this campaign to end for Hillary, Hillary Clinton. It's why we've seen the polls tighten so much in the last week. I mean, she's under investigation by the FBI, and that investigation will not be over on Election Day. So we have the prospect of potentially electing somebody who's currently under investigation by the FBI under a criminal investigation. I think that's unprecedented. It's bad for the country. Uh, it, it, it's just something that is unfathomable, and it's why so many Democrats down ticket, I think, have had trouble defending her over the last couple of days. In, for instance, in Florida, uh, the, the Patrick Murphy, who himself is facing, uh, one of his donors is facing an FBI investigation, he continues to say that he believes that Hillary Clinton is 100 percent honest. How can any Democrat say that Hillary Clinton is 100 percent honest, that they trust her 100 percent? I think that's why you're seeing across the map Senate candidates, Republican Senate candidates, finishing very, very strongly beat in Florida, where you are in Ohio, places like Wisconsin. Republicans down ballot are doing very, very well. And on the top of the ticket, obviously, Donald Trump is closing the gap quickly. You know, this shows the danger of when the FBI... All right, Mark, I want to... Yeah, go ahead. I'm... I would love to hear your response on that because you yeah. have to defend. Well, the I, it, it, it shows the danger when the FBI puts its thumb on the scale. Rudy Giuliani was talking about FBI agents were going to spread this innuendo. Donald Trump, we know from the leaks, is under investigation, criminal investigation, too, for his ties to Vladimir Putin. But the FBI shouldn't be spreading this innuendo. Here we have James Comey saying, I don't know of any evidence against Hillary Clinton. I don't know that any of it's significant, but I'm going to look into Anthony Weiner's emails. They may all be duplicate. And suddenly everyone's like, FBI investigation. William Well, the libertarian all candidate right, Mark, for vice president, I'm put so it well. Sorry. He said there's a one in a I, thousand I, chance. I hate interrupting <laughs> you, but it's worse to get cut off from the television. We have a computer involved. So, gentlemen, thank you so much. We're going to have much more from Cleveland. Cleveland and Miami right after the break.